I had a hard time getting pregnant and I did in vitro and um, I got pregnant and I was pregnant with twins and one of the twins stopped developing really early on so um, but I did have a healthy baby boy and I'm just concerned that I don't know if that makes my miscarriage rate higher. How old are you going to be? 35. 35, okay. Right, now you're that, that magic number that everybody knows about, that they start to worry about genetics and think in terms of genetic screening such as amniocentesis. And what you need to realize, it's not as if something terrible or different has happened just because you're 35. Uh -huh. And if you look at this chart of the age of the mother at the time of delivery and the risk of a chromosomal abnormality at age 34, which was just last year, your risk of a baby with Downs would be 1 out of 465. At age 35, your risk is 1 out of 365. Uh -huh. So it's not as if something has changed that dramatically. The reason that we start talking about genetic screening historically at age 35 is because that's when the risk of having a baby with Down syndrome is greater than the risk of miscarriage from amniocentesis. Well, it's really early right now, so Obviously, I'm really concerned about having a miscarriage and just giving the right prenatal care. If the hormone level is doubling every 48 hours, once it gets to a certain critical threshold, we know that we can do an ultrasound and see if everything is forming correctly and if there's a heartbeat. Once we get to the heartbeat stage, while it's not a guarantee that it's going to proceed and be a viable genetically normal pregnancy, it's the first step that you get to in terms of being optimistic about the pregnancy. But I really believe that women can consider pregnancy at almost any point if they take into account these kinds of factors, that there are screening and diagnostic tests available to them, and would they want to take advantage of that?